Together we're strong. Peaceful people, but stand tall and firm and don't let this happen anymore. They ain't got that kind of right. They don't. I don't. I, <laughs> oh my god, I killed my grandson. <laughs> I want you guys to take this opportunity. I want you to take this opportunity to understand and connect with the family, with their hearts. A black teenager, a black boy, was viciously, viciously killed and murdered by Madison Police Department. We have been marching in the streets. We have been saying over and over again to anybody that will listen that if the racial disparities and the mass incarceration of our boys and our young people are not pro proactively and radically challenged, then we will have a Ferguson in Madison. We do have a Ferguson in Madison. Our, our page is Ferguson to Madison, young, gifted, and black. Ferguson to Madison, because we understood having their numbers three times as worse as Ferguson will put us in this place. We knew it. Right. What the fuck else was the next step? Uh -huh. You lock us up, you beat us, you profile us, you harass us. We're in jail, arrested to a, a, a rate of eight to one. They fear our very existence. And now you have a, a auntie here in pain, a family broken, broken. His mother needed him. His family needed him. Just like every family needs their black boys and their brown boys and their young girls and their young women. And we, in the state, what do they do? They strip our families apart and leave us without shit and then turn around and tell us that we're responsible for our own predicaments. I'm tired of hearing the bullshit. You should be tired too. We are. You should be tired too. All right now. We can no longer allow state violence to be accepted as normal. We can no longer allow the status quo to be fucking injustice. And I said fucking because I'm mad. Right, right. You got a mother who has to bury her baby. I have babies this age. 